Howdy. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Western Washington hydrology model. First, let's go to our map stage. You can change which county you're in in the top left corner. I'm going to pick a location within Clark County. And zoom in if you need to. Make sure a gauge is selected and a precept factor as well as a red dot appears. Go to my scenario manager. First, I'm going to go to my pre-developed. Simply drag a land use basin onto your scenario area. I'm going to select five acres of forest mod. Now these correlate to different slopes. If you hover, you can see some more information about each item. You really can't be in soil types A or B for detention. If you have that type of soil, you either need to infiltrate or model it as a type C. I'm going to right click on my basin area. I'm going to connect to point of compliance. I'm not going to add, there's already one in here. You don't need to select groundwater. I'm going to run my scenario. You need to run each scenario separately. You can see up here, it's running. Now I'm going to click on my mitigated. I'm going to bring in a land use basin. I'm going to bring in a detention pond. You could also bring in a large tank or a vault as well. First, I'm going to click on my basin one. I want to make this five acres of roads. Honestly, all the impervious areas give you pretty darn similar amounts of runoff. You can spend a lot of time really dialing, dialing in the exact amounts of sidewalks, mod, flat, steep rooftops, but it doesn't really affect your result significantly. So I would be probably pretty general with those. Now I'm going to X out of that, right click on this, connect to element, hit OK. Make sure that the server flow and inner flow are connected. Now I'm going to click on my travel zone well pond, bring this over here. I like to click the, click the quick pond first to get it going. I almost always have my riser type set as flat. Now you can adjust these as you need to, but the auto pond is actually going to build this for you. Right click, connect to point of compliance. Same, do not add a, another point of compliance, connect to the one that's already there. Make sure there's no infiltration present. I would check evaporation applied to facility if you have an above ground pond. I would not check this unless you've already, if you've accounted for the size of your pond as in your impervious area, then you don't need to add it here. If you have not counted it in, you then need to add, check this checkbox. Now I'm now gonna click the auto pond command. Now the main things that matter here are the size of your pond, which I typically set at five feet, a four foot pond with one foot of freeboard. This does not affect the volume but it does affect the different areas you're gonna get for length and width. So depending on the shape, it may be helpful for you. Pond slide slopes matters. I would make sure you drag this all the way to five. You can get wildly different results if you don't do the most. I would keep this at orifice and rectangular notch. Theoretically, the three orifice option works, although I've had a lot of issues with it. There we go, 10 minutes later, finished. So now I'm gonna come in my results. There's a couple things, there's a couple things I'd love to do in here. If I click POC, if I click POC one, it highlights automatically pre-developed and mitigated flow. Click on, click on stream protection duration. And this is really what I'm checking for. Did I pass or fail? Is my detention pond adequate or too small? You can see this is the same method as same chart as before. Scroll down, pass anywhere. A fail would be in red, not hard to see. Now I'm gonna go to my flow frequency. I find this helpful to check as well. So you can see two year pre-developed 
all of these mitigated flows need to be below the pre the pre-developed. The reason this one is so much lower is that the half of the two year, which is not shown on here, also needs to be below the mitigated as well. Now, if I need to know this, the stages in my ponds, I can click on this. It's a little hard to read this, but this is the depth from the bottom. So remember our pond was five feet high. That basically means in the 100 year event, it will go up to the top of the pond. If you want to print your report, you can do so right here. Thank you and happy modeling.